Humans often feel alone, desolated, forgotten. They are not. There is always hope. Love. Watchers. Angels offer guidance, inspiration, comfort when it is most needed. But not all are created equal. Some guardians find it a seemingly difficult task to give of themselves to others, for they need their humans as much as their humans need them. What the Watchers leave behind for his human weaves itself into them forever and if done fairly, offers them hope and love to follow for a lifetime. Yet, each guardian is only given so much time on Earth. if they use up too much of themselves. Their existence, life, will dissolve, leaving their humans alone to guide their lives unaccompanied. Am I currently addressing my the grandest of all mighties? Me, sir. <laughs> no, not me, I'm afraid. William. Welcome, welcome, welcome. William, do you know why you are here? I trust you're feeling better. Riposo. Please be still. Pause, sit, and have some birthday cake. Kuhin? Much obliged, ma'am. No, no. There is no gender here. Ne soyez pas stupide. Il n'y a pas de genre. Pas d'homme ni pas femme. We simply are... Humans seem to need compulsion, definition of self, but here we do not. And, of course, guardian angels, which I don't have to remind you, are newly, um, expired, departed. Human souls tasked with helping their one person. In a way, you still impose, feel, and see gender. You may call me ma'am. It is reasonable. Agreed. Acceptable. It is so hard to keep track of true time without my watch. William, it seems you have destroyed, caused a stir for your human. You know, one infraction we overlook. Two, you get a summons to the outer office. But three, <laughs> oh, William, so disappointing, or... Is it unexpected? I forget how to make you understand my thoughts, ideas, feelings. Anyway, I'm so interested to know why you did what you did. Back to the exit. Preface, beginning, then. 
Ulinen ko, sweeta. Come on. Clap hands. Dance. Oh, mercy. Commit my absence. I will catch you downstream shortly. This is your place, position, choice of where to be when your human was being born, when your James was being born. You choose poorly, and you decide to arrive late. Good morning. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, good afternoon. I'm looking for the room of an expecting woman, a, a ch childbearing woman. Last name Baladan. He is in Let me check. She would have come in just moments ago. Uh, yeah, there's no one here under that name. All right then. Your human James was born. It's a boy. No, it is James. <laughs> oh. oh. I never get tired of seeing their first breath. Such hope. Courage, and you missed it. Slighted, no, horrible. Tragic. This was Independence Day. James was at the early age of five. His parents brought him to the cabins on the lake for the weekend. I could have comforted him then, but I did not. This moment is one of my grandest regrets. I see that now. If you saw me, why didn't you correct my behavior sooner? But I did. It was your choice not to hear me.
a very important part of my renewable resources project. Hello, I'm Lloyd Wellman, WW. Not like the war, but like the Wade, and the Wellman, my first and last name. I'm homeschooled and I skipped two grades. I plan on skipping two more grades in high school. One says public schools have too much filler. Your lack of caring, interest, dedication was concerning. James was broken, so I called you up. Home, here, to see Dean. It uh, seems a bit like I'm tied to the switching post. <laughs> there will be no um, switching here. Ah, your use of speech is a bit of a quandary, but I can assure you, you are only called upon to establish your role regarding your being. I take it your dean. Oh, that will be fine. Now, back to the business at hand. Seems you missed a birth, and you did not intervene to avoid your dean breaking himself. Now, William, this is just an adequate behavior. <laughs> I, I fail my position only because James is so very timid. You right know that I feel uh, what he feels. Anxious. <sighs> Anxious all the time. True. You do feel what your being feels still. Incidents, accidents, profanity, misguidance, drinking are all <laughs> highly <laughs> looked down <laughs> upon. <laughs> now, I did not use profanity. Even here, you paint a picture of innocence without fault. James was unlike me. Find it within yourself to guide. Let's take a moment while you look over this letter. Clearly outlining your offenses. Now that does paint me as a broken wagon wheel. And I do understand, but let me tell you, and I, I, I don't mean this in an off way, but James is odd. He strays from the pack. He's on lacks courage of any kind. I can't be held responsible for his choosing in strange ways. You only exist because of James. Your life force is directly linked to his lifeline. Your two strings are tied. He is a... He is... Odd. I suggest you find the beauty in the odd. I can assure you, the odd is... the very best part. Well, I This was the night of the thunderstorm. I blame James for being called into Dean's office. That night, I blame James for being different. Now you see me? Now you don't. Now you do. Now you don't. I saw he was taking care of that butterfly. He was brave in his own way. And I opened my heart to the boy, never like I'd done before. 
Once I did, I was flooded with regret and overwhelmed with love, as if I saw James for the first time. He was strong. He was my everything. I knew from that moment forward I had to change my ways. Our differences no longer seemed important. Spectacular, act spectacular. De have fonton. Zomacher gezinken zijn zegenige uit de hemel. Wait, no. That was of Dutch. Let me try again. Some endowments are gained. No. Granted, from celestial space. There. Now you understand. I would like to see greater. More. Naturally, James was drawn to watching over those butterflies that always enjoyed his company. His passion for playing his violin was only matched by his love for those winged creatures. Good night, guys. Love ya. Good night. Where's Flintstone? Late, late again. Always late. He just gets distracted, that's all. What is that on your arm? Now, Wade is that fellow that was unsuccessfully flying that bird leg that ended up in the tree, then leading to my boy with his broken wing. I know. You're gonna get ink poisoning. Just because your mom said it's not- oh, No, 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 no. We are not gonna do this whole just because your mom said thing. My mother is a lovely person who gave up years of her life to support my education. And besides, being distracted from your obligations is irresponsible. Flintstone is not irresponsible. Just give me your hand. See? Not that late. Anne's in the car. He had to pick up Anne. Thank you. He flourished in taking care of the smaller things. And he played, he played the notes that were awe-inspiring, but never showed anyone for years. I, I can't explain why. Somehow I felt like he was playing just for me. Those are the moments I cherish. I never liked Anne much. Her disposition was much like an angry cat, never a good fit. In the end, it was her that ended things. Okay, what the hell? At the time, it seemed Anne broke his heart. I could feel his sadness. Although I knew she was not his to bind to. You're not being very adult about this. The very least you could do is drop me off before you start crying. You're almost making me feel bad. It's really inconsiderate. Hello, let's stop. Hello. You really should be thanking me for doing this in person and not over the phone. Not cool, Anne. For what? Being considerate? Not cool. At all! Flintstone? James, I thought you closed the door. I just. I, <laughs> I think you gave me whiplash. Flintstone, you gave me whiplash. You gave me whiplash! I didn't.
Why would you give her a ride? <sighs> Look what you did. And you gave me whiplash. It's not my fault. It was a total letdown for him, man. Bogus. <laughs> Dude. This is it. I'm calling my mom. My symptoms could be invisible today, yet catastrophic tomorrow. <laughs> Kinda glad she's gone. Hey, I think I won. Huh. We were wounded bears together. James regained his musical passions during his Montfortam recovery. And in my own sadness, I was reminded of the lost opportunities of his youth. One day, I felt a lift in the spirits. Oh, James. Hey, you know what my mom says when one window closes, another one opens for a cross breeze? Huh? Uh, well, Anne dropped your stuff off about a week ago, and things have been pretty hectic, and now Flintstone and Anna kind of... I don't want to know. I don't want to see her for a long, long time or ever again, okay? <sighs> see, Kat, I told you I wouldn't rest my berries. This isn't going to be a thing you make a deal of, right? Because if it is, I could go. Where would you go, baby? You just got here. He's obviously hysterical now. Okay, guys, that is enough, all right? Okay, James, I made these for you in case you came out in time. And even if you didn't, I was gonna ring the fire alarm, but it doesn't matter. You need to play in front of people and not keep hiding your talent. Oh, Spankin' Little Jenkins. Oh, that's my improv group. It doesn't make a lot of sense out of context. Wade's a straight cat's meow, man. He's not that funny. This is what you need to get over me. It's not all about you, James. <laughs> Help me. Denial. I am over you until you started making up with Flintstone, my cousin, in my house. And did, did he tell you that he couldn't vote last year? Oh my God, hysterical. Stop acting like a 12 year old. So immature, I don't care about age. Immature? He's working part time. That's the righteous thing, man. I quit. Screw the man. See, he doesn't work part time. He quit. What? Uh, Flintstone won $5,000 on a scratcher. Dang, Flintstone. <sighs> I am going to do this. And not because of you, Anne. Um. Being on stage is probably the most terrifying thing I can only think of. But I would be rather doing that than being here with this. I'm leaving to the library. Thank you. On the fly. I think that went well. Me too, baby doll. I mean, well, for James, not very well, but for us, far out. Far out. I appreciate that this particular peak was badly for James and I, but in truth to be told, this was the opening of a new dawn. Well, I gotta get to the world up on my back. Oh, pretty soon I'm gonna crack. So I gotta get to the world up on my back. Somehow, Steve. I'm sitting here thinking about the poems I used to write when I was just a little boy. I thought that when I grew up, everything would be just fine. Fancy clothes, cigars. I stood there in the library watching James mend in his heart, feeling his fear and excitement for playing that night.
doesn't have to be rude about it. Then it all changed by a butterfly. In one swift moment, James looked upon this girl. He was forever changed. A shift that no one can or could ever define. No words to explain other than a life without her would be James wanting. Behold my quandary then. I felt a warmness that was of course from James that was unprecedented. I felt his love for this young fawn directly, but you see, I still held James's talent as a gift he deserved to impart. My mind became divided. Did you know there were over 3,000 books about devotion? Um, affection, no, love, just right here. You're correct, precisely. It is true, James found what my greatest poet subscribe here, L'autre moitié. Hold, there, that is decided. You have deliberated my fate this promptly? I I have further to expound upon. Oh no, that was not for you. I only need a small fraction of myself to listen to you. That was regarding the evolution of existence. Anatagai teta yunisteku desai. Cowboy poetry? Yeah.
can't leave me alone on my birthday. You need to play in front of people and not keep hiding your talent. I am going to do this. I saw the weight in James' heart struggling with indecision. I, all my strength to ease him seemed like a small price. To use so much of yourself of existence, time on Earth. You offered James both paths as choice outcomes options. After all, I denied the boy in my earlier years. How could I let him choose? Two chances seem better than one, and I fully plan to correct the situation once the true path was set. divided, treated one path of following love, the other hope. And you were now dying on earth, with only hours left till you were nothing, erased, demised. Nothing left to see but what you did with your last remaining energy on earth. Now, can everyone listen up here? Because tonight we've got something special, something stoic. A poem from a poetry reading we've all been waiting for, our regular Lily Abner. I'd like to dedicate this one to my new friend who I got kicked out of the library with today. You know who you are. <sighs> there once was a cowboy who died. The wind still echoes his last ride. With 500 head of cattle and a dreadful flu, the wind and the rain took his hat as it blew. He even lost one boot under an old elm root. He fought a rattlesnake and took those cows across the lake. Through the mud, those cows were led until they were safe and fed. You're up. Go get him. Okay. I'll get him. He sat in his chair, which was very rare. He was dry and rested until the angel came and blessed him. Your plan is exceptional. Greater than you. <laughs> Ooh, 
William. You had so little time left with your strength, essence, spirit, being dissolved while on Earth. Existing in both realities with James was more than I could bear. My strength slipped from me. You were weakening. I had to interject to save what little of you there was left. And now we are here. I exude. Resume. Bukhwaipa, understand. Your intentions were for the most, were for the best. A lovely sentiment. Now rest, take comfort in watching James's last remaining year of life. Four seasons combined in total? It goes without saying that everyone and everything in your split realities will be solved, exterminated, cease to exist in exactly one year on the dawn of the last day. Here. Let me set my watch to the true time till their end. Unless the two timelines reunite to one reality, the true reality. Then there is hope. Oh, William, there is always hope. The odds are very slim and without any guidance, assistance, help. You see, the two realities will certainly never become one. Both entire lines James and both will just dissolve, as if they'd never been there at all. Like a spark in nothing. And your intervention would be your own demise. The end of you forever. You would dissolve completely. What have I done? Oh, William, you've done something beautiful, ravissant, extraordinary, only with great consequence to everyone and everything in both realities. Close your eyes, tell me, a place and time you would like, till dawn September 16th. Willie, there's, there's a lack, less, 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 not less, enough less, of you to remain less, on Earth. Any time beneath, 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 below, beneath, below, beneath there, 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 you would dissolve, you would dissolve completely. completely. But, but here you, you may exist. exist. Now, now James, James will be unguided, without, without escort, without, without, unaccompanied, without, without, without you for ever. You must see, view, watch, view, watch from, here from here now. Forever, forever or return, return to, to earth, earth and be, be erased, erased for always. <laughs> um, do you mind? It's no. kind of an awkward tone. <laughs> I do cowboy poetry. <laughs> I like you. Yeah, I liked it. Good. I would hate for you to miss your thing and then be awful. No, it wasn't awful. <laughs> you are amazing. 
You were amazing. I didn't I didn't want to play anyway. So. All right, cowboy. Come meet my friends. Well, ma'am, show me the way. <laughs> <laughs> This is where my stagecoach stops, cowboy. <sighs> well, it was nice meeting you, James. And uh, good luck with your violin. My girlfriend of two years broke up with me and is dating my 18-year-old cousin. My cousin is also my roommate. You didn't have to tell me that. With that, I've been dating a guy at college for the last eight months. You and I just met. We're just friends. I have a terrible stage fright. <laughs> and I'm in love with John Travolta. <laughs> we don't have to wrangle all the cattle at once, you know? Call me tomorrow. No, don't. I'm picking you up at 5.30. Taking you to an art show. I guess. Uh, I wanna go. I wanna see you tomorrow. All right then. Dress formal, but colorful. Thank you for staying with me on my birthday. You didn't show. You made a mockery of my posters. But am I mad? No. You know, I shouldn't have pushed you to the moon when you weren't ready to fall among the stars. When you're ready to perform in front of an audience, you'll perform in front of an audience. I just can't believe Flintstone inherited $140,000 from his great aunt. Dang Flintstone. Isn't it far out, man? Like, I never even met her. I'll never have to work again. Yes, Flintstone, yes. $140,000. Plus the righteous 5K from Nevada. Yeah, Wade. 
Okay, $140,000. That'll get you three to four years. Five if you skip. Five years, easy cat. You know, buys most of my grub. Don't do that. I don't buy his grub. Yeah, you do, baby. I just met the girl I'm going to marry. What? What? He just met the girl he's gonna marry! Ruby. So soon after me? She's beautiful. And interesting. And we're just friends. Because she has a boyfriend, but I don't care. I'm going to marry her. Oh, wait. I'm sorry I made mockery out of your posters. Flintstone, your dancing is really good. I want you to teach me. Sure thing, my man. Just freak out! Dig, man! The groovy chicks are here! What groovy chicks? You are. Would you like to read to me? Yes, I would. You need to call that number right now. Why? It's for a paid violin gig. It's ringing. Hi, good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Um, my name is James Balaban, and I would like to audition. Yes, I can be at 5.30. Thank you. I think I just booked myself an audition. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I think, oh. I, I didn't ask no, no, where no, no, they were. No, no, my mom, oh, my mom already emailed them, don't worry. But she said you need to start making your own decisions and that I can't force my decisions on you. But I already printed you a map. <laughs> oh. Antonio's flaming lips of ecstasy will change the way you see and envision art. Forever. We just met. James, this is amazing. Yes, James, I do know it's amazing. All of my work is amazing. I'm sorry, mate, I just, I want something real, you know? Urinating on the subway tracks, that's real. I don't know what any of this is. <sighs> I want to urinate on this painting. 
I want to urinate on all of it! <sighs> but don't you sell these paintings for a ridiculous amount of money? Yes. Indeed, I do sell this for a ridiculous amount of money. Everyone seems to want to peace in Antonio's soul. <laughs> Mark my words. I will pee on everything. Come, come. With me. Let me show you to the, all the important people here. They're not real, but important, nonetheless. Ah, and James, my boy. I want you to experience something real. song me too let's hear it you want me to say out loud i want you to sing out loud it's you you're the one you're the one that i saw that i saw that all my life i'm waiting for don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. I love the dark nation never die. I mean, it's way harder, and I'll I'll probably never do it till <laughs> I'm married with kids in the backyard. But <clears throat> still, it's on my bucket list. So, fruit. <laughs> now you, fruit or vegetable? Um, I want to play a violin. A violin. <laughs> <laughs> A violin, I feel, is much more like a fruit. Mm. And the vegetable of the instruments is easily the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I would love for you to play me something. <laughs> I don't play for people. The whole stage fright thing. I'm not people. Have you ever driven up the 101 through San Luis Obispo? No, but I've always wanted to. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. James? Yes. Summer break is over. I like summer break. No, I... I go back to college tomorrow. Mark her charms. You were destiny in the twine. Why don't I share my music with her? Your years prevent clarity of the inevitable paths. I hope you will combine your attraction of being irresistible together with your love to play music. I'm glad you found hope, William. Thank you for reading to me. I must go.
Nick Spenderson. The ladies call me Catalina. Let me ask you a question. How much do they pay you for tonight? Um, Mr. Spender. How much? I, I don't, this is not my job. I work at the zoo. How much? Just a hundred, just for tonight. One hunsky. So that's the problem with these fancy places. They think they can shortchange a man of your talents. $100? Let me tell you, just because they're educated does not mean that they are smart. $100? You deserve more. Thank you, Catalina. You know, I feel classical music is making a comeback. I want to see you on stages playing for audiences across the country. You and your violin on stages night after night after night. I want them to hear the sweet, sweet music that you played for us tonight. Now let's talk money. How does that? $125 a night sound. James? What are you doing? It's a going away party. <laughs> oh. oh, James. You are leaving and I wanted to see you. And then I remembered this nursery does all the greenery at the butterfly enclosure and they owe me a favor. Stop. Then I would have been happy to see you driving by. James, I... I know you have to go, but this is for you. A belated birthday present. A fruit tree? Cherries. I think it's the violin off the fruit family. Thank you. So, do you roller skate? <laughs> we should go. I mean, it's childish, no offense, and it hurts fierce when you fall like a mule kick, but <laughs> we should. I'll try. There's a 70s night. Okay, for my 24th birthday, we're going. And I want you to do a dance for me. A <laughs> dance? <laughs> me, dance? Yes. And it will be my favorite birthday moment ever, guaranteed.
I hope your cherries grow. I hope you play your music in front of people and come skating with me. Let's not say goodbye. Let's watch all the balloons till they're gone. Except this one. This one's special. Keeping it. Show. Can you book me more? That's it right there, James. Fire we live for. I have a contract ready. James, I made this contract the night of your first show. That night. Did you play? <laughs> Did I play? <laughs> what instrument did you play? The instrument's not important. It's about who plays them. A long time ago, 
there was this young man full of hope. He played in this band. Not a great band, but he had something. A lot like you. Crowds adored him. The ladies loved him. Was he you? Doesn't matter. What matters are the decisions that we make. Do you go on tour and miss the last dinner with your father, or do you stay home and pass him the butter? Those are the big ones. And this is your moment to decide to play. I want to play. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. Hmm. Still a violinist. Who would have thought? Did you stay to pass the butter? Doesn't matter. <sighs> this is your moment. <sighs> but the ladies did love them. I bet they still do. You're home? Just got in. Hey, look, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to your show. Things have been pretty hectic at work. Wait, what if I quit the zoo and start working as a musician? Well, that would bring up a lot of questions. I mean, for one, carpooling. I mean, you would need your own car. Can musicians even afford their own car? Thing? Wade. first night when I played, I heard a voice deep within me that said, you're better than you know, and that my playing is exceptional. I'm not afraid anymore. I want to play. What's this? It's a contract to play. Would you check it out for me? Yeah, I can send it over to my mom and she can also get us some info on the car. Just you. You do it. You're the smartest guy I know. I trust what you think. All right. This is about the decisions that we make. It's time to move forward. Hello, William. I felt the need to check in with your time here. Oh, oh mercy. James, see. 
he's drifting downstream. And how are you faring? Yet I cast his dive demise. He cut his time to the bone. He, he is unaware of the shortness of his days. They all have the shortness of days. We all do. William, the moments that we don't dwell on our end are the ones where we, they are most alive. You can waste time here hating the fact that James may breathe his last one year from now. Or you can take comfort in the fact that you can have the chance to watch him live, to feel his joy in two realities, one of them with love and hope he finds his heart's fate. A moment of hope is enough for a lifetime. And none of us know how long we have. Only true time can tell. Pop, you must be returned. <laughs> Traveling down myself, just to step through a door. <laughs> God, I'd be lost without this thing. Take comfort in the moments, William. Dawn is coming sooner than you think. Did you watch the return of the Wolfman? Yeah, of course. I like the Wolfman. He's a really nice guy. Only gets really a bad day on the full moon. What was that, Cat? Uh, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. 1948 Abbott and Costello. Watched. Teen Wolf? Teen Wolf, are you kidding? We're talking classic horror here. No, but yes, of course, I've seen it. Actually inspired me so much, I went in the back of a truck, flew out going about 30 miles per hour, hit my head on a rock. How do you think I got this bald spot in the back of my head? Gross, you have a bald spot? Do you think it will ever grow back? Happy Halloween! Of course I'm gonna see you on Christmas. You got the zoo's closed all week. I'm gonna get grandies. Yeah, we promise you, we'll get it. Tell her got an apple. Trick or treat, trick or treat. Crowd away. Let me grab my violin. Uh, James, overeating candy directly causes indigestion. Uh, don't be a square. I have a sweet tooth too. I need all this candy. He likes things that are sweet. Are you referring to yourself? I'm not always thinking about me. Why do you always make such bad decisions for yourself? Is that directed to me? No, Anne. Hey, I just want a jet ski. Let me see. You won. See you guys. At the show, my man.
Why'd you get a copy? Lucy, another copy. I booked your next 20 shows. They are keeping their eyes tight on you for a full college tour. This is great news. You got a full 20 shows up the coast and then a four year contract. <sighs> I'll start working on the new set list right away. Mick, I can do this. Mm. Hot. Your coffee's good. Hot. Are you sure this is not too much? You showed me how it could have gone for that young man in that band. It's been a good ride. It's not over yet. For him it is. And he doesn't regret one moment of his choices. And I got to watch you live his dream. Remember, there's a lot of life to live without applause. I wished it would snow for you for Christmas, so consider this your present. You're welcome. <laughs> That's so weird, because I got you the same thing. I love it. Next time you get me something, consider a little disco in it. Oh my god! <laughs> I'll get some towels. I hope you're free for New Year's. Hmm. New Year's? From the hole he dug, the sweat filled his dirty mug. That's from a new poem. But really, I want you to come to San Diego for New Year's. My boyfriend's uh -huh. gonna be there, and I want him to be my best friend. My parents love Rick, and they're gonna love, love you. And recently, I think it might be getting kind of serious. New Year's, uh, um, I usually go to Wade's mom's house. But it's a classical music concert at San Diego State. You would love it. You're not weird about meeting Rick, right? No. Uh, no. You're still my best friend, Buckaroo. I want you to be happy. I want you to be happy, too. So New Year's, it's a masquerade ball. No, I wish I could.
Thank you, James Bell, and all the kinds of beautiful guests listening. Do you mind if I sit? Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind you. <sighs> oh, this weather's a bit nippy. Did you uh, get to see the snowstorm before Christmas? I did. <sighs> oh. Do you want to know a secret? A really big secret? Or did you want to keep talking about the weather? Don't answer that. I'm going to tell you. James. We found each other. I should have waited for you. But I didn't. <laughs> Lily, it's not too late. What is? It is. Wait, it's not. Hey, Lily, um, it's James. Uh, I, I know we haven't talked for a while. I, I was wrong. I was weird about you having a boyfriend and, uh, but I think I'm okay with it now. And, uh, uh, okay, um, <laughs> call, call me. Lily? 
I miss you too. Trip. We're going 24 hours for Lily's 21st birthday. We're leaving tomorrow at 11 a.m. No earlier, no later. Right up to work. Yeah, you're right. I should go with you. And I'll go in early to work tomorrow. Oh, shoot. Do I have time to check the fluid levels on the car? Okay. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. I, but is it really a good idea to, you know, tell her, tell her how you feel and she's a boyfriend? It is a good idea and pay for everything. I promise I'll pay you back. And somebody too. So that's what I am now? Money bags? I mean, I don't really care, but Anne broke up with me. What? what? Uh, she just wanted me to be someone else. Someone else? Someone else? She wanted you to be someone else. You're a new person every two months. Maybe if she would've just waited two months, it would've worked out. Um, sorry, Anne broke up with you. Okay, we're all in. So the party starts at 11 p.m. It's unhealthy to be up that late. It started at 6 this morning. Sunrise to sunrise. But I want to get as close as I can to her real birthday. We should get there right before midnight. So the party's been going on for hours. Isn't it rude to show up late? Right. Then yes, you do your little dance, then boom bada bing, you're out of the friend zone, right? It only took you one year. I mean, your brain won't even be fully functioning by then. You know what my mom always says, if you're up past 12 to 13 hours, then your brain doesn't function as normal. I'm sorry, that's just not true, wait. I say it how I hear it, you know? Love conquers all. Hey. No, Flintstone, do not use the air conditioning unless absolutely necessary. We need to save as much money on fuel economy as possible. Above all else, we probably won't even reach 27 highway miles. I would calm it down, all right? It's nothing to get all worked up about. Oh, so you'd rather just blow money on the air conditioning? Yeah, I'll pay. I'll pay for the air conditioning all the way. Good now? I'm accepting this to teach you respect, not to prove your point. This money's mine now. You think she's gonna be surprised? Surprised? You're not gonna weigh in on the air conditioning. There's two things Kevin Lena Mick knows. Talent and the look of a man in love. Can you fall in love with a person you met only twice? That's the best kind. Look, what I came here to tell you is you did it. You got that contract. It's a solid, steady paycheck, benefits, less travel. They'll book your shows, your hotels. Real sweet setup for you, buddy. For us, you did this. <laughs> no, I just gave you a push. I don't think you need me collecting a check for doing nothing. Consider my 25% a gift from old Catalina Mick. Mick, we make a great team. I don't want you to go. Just do one favor for me. I know this old gal, she manages an after-hours jazz club. I told her you'd stop by the night before the HSU show.
I know she's the one because I dream. Every night, I am on some stage. And I and I'm playing my violin and I see her in the audience. Almost every night. I didn't dream about Anne. Well, maybe that's because you didn't have to. She was always there. Anyway, I used to dream about Ava Wondermill from the second grade. She won the science fair. Crazy girl. Smokey. Smokey, she was my dream girl all through junior high. She wanted to play the guitar, and she was horrible. Too cute for you to want to mention it, though. I loved her. Actually, love is too weak of a word for how I felt. I, I, I loved her. I, I loved her. Hey, that's her. Just stop the car! Smokey, baby doll, how the heck have you been? It's me, Flintstone. Freddy Bedrock, I was just like totally thinking about you right at this moment. Did you hear that? Annie Hall's dead. Back to cool cats. That nervous stuttering was Annie Hall? No. You didn't know who that was for the past four months? Woody Allen. Oh. Had to be Smokey F. Not Ava frickin' Wonderman. Dang Flintstone. Do you need a lift? Yeah, a lift would be cool. Let me grab my stuff. Dig it, cats for giving the skirt a ride. Hi, Smokey. Hi, I'm Wade. Wade Wellman. Uh, did you get all your things out of the car? I mean, you don't want vandals to get them before the tow truck comes. Oh, that's not my car. It just came into my life to get me here. So you didn't call a tow truck? No, let the car be free to find its own path. So, where's the wind blowing, all of you? Let me sock it to you. We split town to hit this groovy shindig for James' sweet baby. Her name is Lily. Do you roller skate? Serendipitous. I identify with skating. So close to flying, you know? No. I love birthdays. They celebrate the passing of the sun. Do you play guitar? I did. Don't now. Isn't that a guitar case? I couldn't keep the guitar's music trapped just for my own pleasure. So, I set it free. But I like the organic shape, so I use it for carrying my, like, things. Swinging! Totally swinging! Why are you doing that? What's what, baby? Smothering your true self. It's cool if you don't want to be you. I just liked your inner true self. Such good, real energy. Just Freddy? Just Freddy. Okay. Okay. Is it a theme birthday? Uh, yeah, actually, it's a 1970s theme. That's why we're all dressed like this. Far out, I have that. Do you mind if I change? Yes. Nope. Um, it.
Okay, these are my roommates. Um, Winstone? Pretty close. Yeah. And Reed? Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, do you happen to know the laws on abandoned cars? You know, I'll, I'll just report it there. Oh, Reed? <laughs> yeah. And this is, uh, Flintstone's school. Um, ah, sm smoke. Salutations. Oh, happy passing of the sun. Oh. oh, you are a light worker, a light beam. You can teach me. Okay. So the skates have not been walked. I'm clear on that. Okay. No, it was not my car. No. No, do not put me on hold. Not you, not you, not you. Okay. So the skates have not been washed. I don't know, man. I only work the Fridays. But you're not gonna complain, right? Because I did spray them. Okay, spray them with what? The stuff they told me to, man. Okay, can I see the can? Okay. So I saw the car after mile marker 37. No, it was not my can. Car. It was it was not my car. Okay, can I see the car? The can. Can I see the can? Car or can, man? Can! Why would I... Never mind. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Oh, I have so much planned. 24 hours for turning 24. 24 for 24. You're here for the last seven, and nobody sleeps till 6 a.m. tomorrow. Perfect. I don't need sleep. I've studied with Grandmaster Yogi to pull nutrients out of the air and other beings. Really? Wow, like an energy wrestler. Did you bring me a present? I did. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. It's very beautiful. These are for you guys. Oh. This one's for me. And ready to go? I did bring you something, but I will give it to you at midnight, when it's a real birthday. Okay, but at midnight sharp, I want it. <gasps> oh! <laughs> James, right? You must be the best friend I heard about. And the boyfriend. You heard about me? I heard about you. Uh, you heard about me? Yeah, I heard about you. And you heard about me. Uh, yeah. We all heard each other. Oh, we all heard. You both heard, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Going to a jazz bar after this. Closes at dawn. Tonight they're playing classical and jazz. I'm so glad you're here. It was either that or a campfire on the beach. We should do a poem tonight. Tonight? <laughs> I'm really glad you came. What?
James may talk to you about me. James. Well, it is the midnight train in Georgia, people. The witching hour. It is midnight. Do you know where your children are? Can we have everyone clear the floor for this magic moment? This one goes to the birthday girl. A girl that who says, pictures of Lily made my life so complete. Lily. And hey, it's her party. Cry if she wants to. The one we've all been waiting for, Mr. Big Star. Big Star. Big Star. Big Star. Oh my gosh, you could have a concussion. Okay, you need to go to the bathroom and check your pupils. It only takes two pounds of pressure to cause the brain to swell. I'm calling my mom! One, two, three. <laughs>
quite the show you put on out there. Do you love her? Yep. I love her. Yeah, I do too. She talks to you on the phone, I hear her laugh. She's with me, but... I don't let her... She needs you too. I can make her happy. Listen, I understand that you think you can make her happy. That's the tough part. Because I know that you could. She loves you. I know that. But I still feel that she loves me too. What does that do for us? It means we both do what any man in love would. We give her everything she needs. And we respect each other. We're both loving and amazing woman. We let her decide. Till then, I'm going to enjoy every moment that I have with her. You know, I've been waiting to have this conversation with you for almost a whole year now. Turns out, you're just a nice guy.
I think you should drive Lily. Two of you must have a lot to catch up on, I'm sure. But I can take your friends, don't worry. I mean, besides, I was having a great conversation with Wade about cutting ties with overbearing mothers. Are you sure about that? No. I'm not. I want her to be with me because she wants to, not because she can't be with you. Why are you so nice? I drove all the way here to win her from you. You are so nice. Look, don't get the wrong idea, okay? I still want her to choose me. I, I thought maybe you'd screw it up in the car right over. Say something she ain't. You know? I'll give you that chance. Your birthday, baby. <laughs> mm. She ride with James. Catch up, yeah? I will see you there, okay? I got you this. Oh. Hey, on the two tap. It's a new dance. <laughs> well, how about it, Buckaroo? Back over there. Let's get a move on. A million years have passed since I held you last. I guess a million. Can we stop by my house first? I want to change, and it'll only take a minute. It's on the way. Nobody will even miss us for at least an hour. Sure. Pull a left at the light. That's... That's nice. Yeah, he is nice. Ugh, I really like him. Oh, up on the left? Glad you're happy. I am happy. I'm happy you're here. Let's go.
back to the hotel. I need to call my mom and have a discussion with her about being my own person. I think she'll think it's a good idea. You stay. We gotta ride. Smokey found a car. Enjoy the moment, friend. Breathe it in. She's like half your life song. And now, ending the night by request, a uh, poetic song spoken by Miss Lily. Reminding them of what was fated. The prairie held no comfort. To being happy. Cheers. I know him. Boy, oh, you must follow your glance. See your direction. Excuse me, this is the last song of the night. Would you like to dance? I should have waited. It's not too late. It is too late to have waited. Not too late to start fresh. Well, nice to meet you. Well, my name is James. My name is Lily. I just broke up with my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I never felt like I could talk to him the way I could talk to you. That day at the library? And today is my birthday. I know it is your birthday. You wrote that on my arm. <sighs> Looks like we wrangled all the cattle at once. Looks like we did. Come on! Oh man! Dude, I thought you were 
someone else. You're a classical violinist, for God's sake. It goes without saying that everyone and everything in your split realities would cease to exist in exactly one year on the dawn of the last day. Unless the two timelines unite to one reality. The true reality. James and both will just dissolve as if they would never been there. And your intervention would be your own demise. The end of you forever, forever, forever. Il tuo destino, Chiara. Oh, my God! 
I can. Will it last the last moments of day? To feel his joy. His love. There is no place. the best bar chains. <laughs> you see me? Always hope. You see, the two realities will certainly never become one. Unless the two timelines unite to one reality. The true reality. William, your final moments could not have been more matchlessly spent. Who lives of it to so they? What you have done is extraordinary, but only with great consequence. Yourself. <laughs> he has found his true path. At this one moment, you allowed James to be at the exact spot to correct both realities to be his one. The other path has been erased. For ever gone. At the show, Stadozna Belodetsimaga Michela. И ваша часть жертва. Love and hope saved him. You saved him. For that, you deserve to see what shall be. See. 
I don't want to wait for you to call me. I don't want to wait till dinner. I want to spend my whole life with you this year and every year after. I know that it's odd to say, but I do. The odd is the best part. I want to live life, live life with you. I want to watch the snow in winter with you, and I want to go to art shows. I want to, I want to see you play your violin and know that you're playing just for me. I want to live with you. James, we found each other. Looks like we did.
for a brief second, maybe you saw someone beside you, a passing shadow that blends into the ever-moving world around you. For that moment, you feel warmed, graced by a presence that proves you are not alone. You have always had hope and love. Your watcher, guide, angel has given that to you always and forever. By one simple snack. <laughs>